So welcome to the stage, Blake Falls. I'd like to start with a quote from the entrepreneur Peter Thiel, who said, education may be the one thing we still believe in in the United States. To question education is really dangerous. It's like telling the world there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm here today to tell you that there is no Santa Claus, and it's time to start questioning higher education, because it costs $20,000 a year to get through college, and you'll probably end up with about $25,000 in debt when you graduate. Imagine that number on your credit card statement. There are some people who really should go to college. If you want to go into a licensed profession, become a scientist, professor, please go to college. It's where you belong. For everyone else in the world who's interested in something else or just has no idea what they're interested in, wait, stop. You might not need to go at all. Because you might end up here, overqualified, underemployed, saddled with a bachelor's degree that you can't do anything with, and student loan debt that you have to pay off immediately. This is a situation where college may have closed more doors than it's opened. So the thought experiment is, what could you do with $20,000 instead of going to college for a year? I want you to actually think about this. If you think, I don't have $20,000, we'll get to that part. <laughs> Just roll with it. When I ask myself that question, I start with dedicating about $4,500 to go live in some new place for a year, excuse me, for six months, and uh, get room, board, and uh, transportation to just see a new place, because that's a big part of the college experience. <laughs> Another $3,000 could buy me about 100 hours of one-on-one -on -one private tutoring, so I can improve my writing, I can work on music, sports, I can get an entrepreneurship tutor, I can get a life coach to help tell me what to do with all, these, all the spare time that I now have. $2,500 could buy me a three-month international backpacking trip across both developed and developing countries, and so I can see how other people live in the world and get out of the little bubble in which I grew up. Another big advantage of the college experience. $1,500, I could buy a new MacBook Air, maybe a digital SLR, Photoshop. You can spend it on the hardware, software, or raw materials you need for your personal learning projects. Uh, I'd spend another $1,000 on one or two small business startup ventures, and I wouldn't worry too much about if I don't make money on them, but I would try to exchange some products or services for real money, because that's not something that happens in college. Nobody really is going to pay you for a sociology paper. <laughs> $1,000 would then let me travel all across the United States via plane, train, or automobile. And then I could go visit friends, family, mentors, go to conferences and competitions, and start networking with the people who are actually going to give me job opportunities when I'm done. Another $700 would get me a year's worth of smartphone and high-speed internet access, so I can access all of the really awesome free learning resources that are appearing nowadays, like TED Talks, there's Google, Wikipedia, University Webcasts, the list goes on and on. I dedicate another 600 to get in about 40 new books and a one-year membership to the local university library so I can practice the oldest form of self-education, which is reading a bunch of good books. <laughs> Next, oh, about $100 for uh, one year of portfolio hosting on the web so I can tell the world what I'm doing and document my process. And another 100 for a decent pair of running shoes so I can play pick-up sports games. If you add all those numbers up, though, we are not yet at $20,000. We are left over with $5,000. If I invest $5,000 each year at 4% yield, do that for four years, I end up with $27,000, roughly the same amount of money that my peers are graduating with in student loan debt. And I haven't even talked about the stuff I could be doing for free. I could be interning or working for companies that I admire. I could be interviewing people who are doing what I want to be doing. I could be volunteering for organizations that feel like I'm contributing to the world. By focusing on those high value and low cost activities, I don't have to spend $20,000 to give myself higher education. I can do it for 10, five. I can spend almost nothing and earn money along the way. What we're talking about here is the power of self-directed learning. Self-directed learning is cheap, it's effective, and it builds self-knowledge. And self-knowledge is the actual asset that you need to survive in the world as a successful, independent adult. If you have self-knowledge, you will do well with or without a college degree. And if you're concerned, well, without a college degree, you won't have a brand, you won't be able to get a job. I say the college degree is becoming increasingly devalued as more and more people get it. Instead, like Steve Jobs, a college dropout himself, you can brand yourself in badass personal entrepreneurship with self-directed <laughs> learning.
I'm Blake Bowles, and that's what you can do with $20,000.